Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Devina Safrahadi. My student number is 220-301-201-30077. And I'm from Class B. Today, I'm going to present the review article that I have read. The title is Nutrition and Health of Edible Insects by Arnold Van Huys. This article is published by Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care Journal. The attention for insects as food in the Western world was almost absent about 10 years ago. Since then, the interest in edible insects has grown enormously, not only demonstrated by the interest of the public media, but also by the exponential growth of scientific articles. In Europe, by September 2019, insect producers had raised about $600 million as investments. The value of edible insect market is predicted to reach about $1.2 billion in 2023 and $8 billion in 2030. So why this sudden interest? Likely, the urgency to find alternative proteins as the agricultural land available is simply not enough to satisfy the growing demand of meat. Livestock already occupies 70% of all agricultural land, while demand will increase by 76% by mid-century. Actually, it is difficult to make general statement about the nutritional value of insects. First of all, because of the many different species that are edible, and second, because there are many conditions that influence the nutritional content. So, the nutritional content and most common of edible insects are fatty acids, proteins, minerals, and vitamin D. In addition, edible insects have several health benefits there are antimicrobial peptides, cotton and cutness, antioxidants, and other bioactive compounds. These are the explanation about nutritional contents of edible insects. First, fatty acids. Fatty acids are molecules that are long chains of lipid, and edible insects have higher levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids than fish and poultry sources. Second is protein. Some species such as grasshoppers, silkworm pupae, and crickets have high protein content which potentially can be utilized as an alternative protein sources. The third are minerals. There are iron and zinc. Iron is an essential element for blood production and zinc plays a role in cell division, cell growth, wound healing, and the breakdown of carbohydrates. The last is vitamin D. When exposed under UV lights, mealworms contain as much as vitamin D as mackerel, one of the highest source. Therefore, mealworms are now one of the few ambassadors of this essential vitamin. Edible insects have several health benefits for human. First, chitin and chitinous. Chitin is a natural polysaccharide and is the second abundant biopolymer after cellulose. Chitinous is produced commercially by deacylation of chitin. For humans, chitinous is supposed to have various pharmacological activities such as wound healing, antihypertensive, anti-cancer, blood coagulant anticoagulant, anti-ulcer, antimicrobial, antiviral, hypolipidemic, and hypocholesterolemic activities. Second, antimicrobial peptides. Insects can be exploited as alternatives to conventional antibiotics to counter the threat of multidrug resistant pathogens. However, more research on side effects such as cytotoxicity immunogenicity, and allergenicity are required. Third, antioxidants. 
compare the antioxidant capacity of water and liposoluble extracts of insects with fresh orange juice and olive oil. Surprisingly, crickets, grasshoppers, silkworm, African caterpillars, and even in cicada display values of antioxidant capacity twofold or threefold higher than orange juice or olive oil. Fourth, other bioactive compounds. Studies with obese mice have shown that they may have potential for humans to reduce diabetes type 2. Edible insects may also play a role in reducing high blood pressures. Angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE causes blood vessels to constrict, which is why AC inhibitors are used as pharmaceutical drugs for the treatment of cardiovascular disease. The environmental impacts of livestock production are considerable. It contributes to global warming by emitting 14.5% of human-induced greenhouse gases emissions. And it is also responsible for almost two-thirds of anthropogenic ammonia emissions, causing acidification of ground and water bodies, which can harm plant and animal life. In addition, it requires lots of water. For example, to produce 1 kg of beef, up to 43,000 liter water are required. And infectious disease of livestock are a major threat to global animal health. Zoonotic infections transmissible between animals and humans are on the increase and pose significant additional threats to human health. Because all of that, insects perform better. Insects can be reared on organic side streams, and production of insects needs less water and land. Insects cannot only be used as food for humans, but also to feed pets, fish, poultry, and pigs. In addition, insects have shown to have nutritional and health benefits especially for human. Food safety to consume edible insects. First, allergenicity is an issue when people are sensitive to closely related species, such as crustacea or hostess mites. Second, chemical and biological contaminants need to be considered, and more so when insects are fed on organic side streams. Third, to eliminate potentially present food pathogens, heat treatments are advised. So we can conclude that the growing demand for meat and the limited agricultural land available for livestock prompted the search for alternative proteins. Compared with livestock species, insects can be grown on organic side streams and have shown to have nutritional and health benefits. For that reason, there has been an exponential increase of attention using insects as food and feed. This is exemplified by the number of scientific publications on edible insects. Health benefits relate to the large reservoir of antimicrobial peptides, the exoskeleton of insects, cotton, and its deacylated form citizen may have as prebiotic. In addition, the antioxidant capacity of insect extracts looks promising and other bioactive compounds need further to be explored. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.